So if your inverter is flashing an alarm, it's all right, you don't need to be too alarmed. We just need to work out exactly what's going on. So to do this, you come over to your inverter, hit the enter button, and then scroll down, down to advanced information, hit the alarm message, and then we can see what our alarm is. And in this case, it's a CanCon failure. So now we've gone into our settings and we've worked out why our alarm light is flashing. There are three main reasons. There is no battery, arc fault, and CanCon. For all three of these issues, the restart procedure is the best way to clear it 95% of the time. So I'm gonna show you how to completely shut down and restart your Solis and Pylon system. First of all, we need to come over to the inverter and locate the black isolator. All we have to do is turn that to off. Then the red isolator, we will switch that to off. Then we come down to our batteries and we turn them off one at a time. Then we need to locate the main fuse, which you'll find here. We need to pull that a little bit of bigger so that it is towards us and disconnected. So once we've switched off the black isolator, the red isolator, switched the batteries off one by one and pulled the main fuse, we need to leave it for about 15 minutes. So now we've waited 15 minutes for the system to fully depower we need to get it back online. So we start off with the red isolator, switch that to on, black isolator, switch it to on, your big main fuse, shove it back in, and then down to your battery, we need to turn all of them on, one at a time, and then you need to find your master battery. You can find this by it having the only ethernet cable, which is not connected into one another, but connecting into your inverter. Uh, it will have two orange cables. And on this, you just need to press and hold this SW button for about 15 seconds. So now you follow those steps, it usually will take about five to 10 minutes. Your alarm will stop flashing and everything is connected.